That means it's recording. It's recording. We're doing a little experiment here. I've got the GoPro Max. Oh. We're going to two stores, right? Yeah. Two stores. And uh, PJs and staples. Staples. I wanted to see how well the Max worked in the car. I mounted it to the windshield with a suction cup mount. I created the hyperlapse effect in post-production with Final Cut Pro X. Here we are, driving through beautiful downtown Framingham. Of course, I had to try some tiny planet and reverse tiny planet effects. Now we are on Route 30 and approaching our destination. There's the post office. We uh, got applications to uh, for. Uh, vote to vote by mail. So we're going to send them in and we'll be able to vote by mail for both the primary and the election in, in November. This is all elections, so if there are more, there would end up being more than we can have all. <laughs> Just a little shopping trip to BJ's. You're gonna have to put on your mask again. What are you doing now? I don't know what the camera is. You're gonna put your mask on. Uh huh. Uh. You know what I'm doing? Oh, I kind of. Okay, oh. I'm ready to rob the place. Is this it? I have to stop recording. You take this. I'm not gonna leave it up there. Okay. What? Okay. Put it on. I want to get you put it on. So. Okay, you're 
Okay. So we just need to be careful. Yeah. Okay, okay now. We were not done yet. We are on Route 9 now, heading for our next destination. Chevrolet dealer, where, we, where this car came from, right over there. Now, this is where I had a little problem with the Max. The default mode was set to last 360 video, and the Quick Capture default was 360. I had been using Quick Capture to start recording with one touch. However, this time it recorded in hyperlapse mode. That has also happened a few times later. I think I may stay away from Quick Capture. Sweet home. I really like walking with the Max. I wanted to find someplace a little more interesting than our neighborhood. So Linda and I went to downtown Ashland and walked down Main Street passing historic buildings and landmarks. We ended up at Mill Pond Park. There's a new bridge there and a trail through the woods. This is the Ashland Post Office, built in 1940. It has been closed for many months because of a mold problem. Inside, there is a mural depicting the railroad's arrival in town. Stone's Public House. John Stone built this hotel in 1834 when the railroad came to town. They say it is haunted. Here's the fire station. This bell, called the Holbrook Bell, is from the original engine house, shown here. And we do have a police station in town. Across the street, you can see the Ashland Federated Church. It was originally the town's congregational church. Here's an old postcard. The Ashland Town Hall. This is an old building. There were school classrooms inside until 1929. A few years ago, it was renovated Looks the same on the outside, but it is very nice inside. Now we are headed for the mill pond. 
I'm afraid the GoPro Max recorded this entire segment as a hyperlapse. And now, we are passing the Ashland Historical Society. This is the Mill Pond Dam, often a very active waterfall, but pretty quiet that day. This flock of Canada geese came right up to me. I think they were hoping that I had something for them. Here's that new bridge. We'll end the video now with a walk along this meandering trail. Thanks very much for watching.